Hello everybody, welcome back once again to the Final Fantasy VII walkthrough. We're picking right up where we left off in the last video. We are in the final dungeon. Uh, this is the... Uh, what do we take here? The right... right path, I believe this is? Yeah. Um, so the right side, or the right path, is a one-way. Um, there is a... there's actually a spot where you kind of jump down so uh and that that is again a one way now um like i did mention though earlier uh you know once you're down here you're not stuck down here you actually can leave and um you know it's not it's not too difficult it it may take a little um a bit of time to get the hang of it but uh it's not not too difficult to get out <laughs> Uh, but anyways, all right, so we're going to be uh, cruising around here looking for the enemies that uh, are on this path. The Pollen... Pollen Salida? Am I getting that right? Pollen Salida, it sounds like it. Um, has a pretty awesome ability, actually. Uh, enemy skill, that is. Called Angel's Whisper. So, uh, <clears throat> if you've got... Uh, if you're looking for that, it uh, is incredibly useful. It... Um, not only does it revive a character that's been defeated, but it restores uh, full HP as well. So it's kind of like a combination between the life and uh, full cure uh, materials, or spells, I should say. Um, so, again, extremely, extremely um, interesting spell there. Now, uh, unfortunately, I believe it's fairly expensive, but, I mean, I don't know. I feel like, um, actually, let me check how much mana it costs, because uh, I don't remember off the top of my head, but, I mean, to be honest, uh, having both of those skills uh, combined is pretty awesome, so it's kind of, kind of I don't know if you want to call it an even farther upgraded uh, life, too, I'm not sure, but uh, anyways, alright, so let's continue on here. Um, we're going to head up uh, into this path. Now, this screen in particular is extremely unique. And um, by that, I mean there is a bug here, and um, I'm, I don't think I've actually got uh, the uh, footage of me making it. Oh, Angel Whisper is only 50 MP, so. Yeah, wow, completely refills HP, cures most status conditions, and also uh, revives dead party members. So awesome, awesome ability. Uh, I'm going to run away from this Master Tonberry because these take a little bit of time to beat and I don't feel the need to. Um, but yeah, so anyways, like I was saying, there is actually a bug here. Now, um, I don't remember. I, I actually did try a little bit, but uh, I, I think I'm actually going to make that part of the next video. Um, anyway, so we've got a, if you notice, there's a piece of materia there and... Uh, Unfortunately, Cloud won't stop right on that um, island, I guess we'll call it. And so you just got to hammer the uh, the X button uh, in order to grab that as you're jumping across. So, uh, I mean, that's essentially it. I wouldn't <laughs> put much more effort into it than that. I would just, again, uh, don't worry about the timing. Just mash the X button as you're uh, jumping across there. So uh, that is how I got it. I actually believe I had to, yeah, I had to return and try again. Alright, so there's a speed source. Lame. Oh, missed it again. Try it again. There we go. Mega All. Uh, Mega All is interesting. I don't... Mm, I don't want to say I don't like it, but um, I think it's 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 useful for or in certain scenarios. Uh, but what that's going to do is actually... Uh, oh, and am I on the wrong screen here? I think I... I feel like I am. No, I'm sorry. I think... That tre that treasure chest right back there, I messed that up. So, um, that that treasure chest is the part of the um, part of the bug. So you actually don't want to open that up. Uh, and and what you want to do, and again, I think I I think I have footage of it in the next. It'll actually be the beginning of the next video. But um, I would say, and it's a lot of effort, frankly. Um, it's it's a what you end up doing. All right, I'll, I'll just summarize it is uh, you you, tr you actually go up on top of the treasure chest so uh, or go up above it and then the bug activates as you as you jump down and open the treasure chest at the same time so that's just the brief summary again I don't think I've actually got footage of it unfortunately but um, 
the the goal is so that you uh, you know jump down open the treasure chest at the same time and actually what that does is it leaves the dialogue box open and so by having that dialogue box open you can continue to run and essentially what you do is you run to the uh, the bottom left hand corner of the screen uh, where the where the zone line is at I, I guess I'd call it and uh, at that point you open up uh, your menu go to the save crystal use the save crystal and then uh, actually move across to the next screen and uh, what that what that'll do is actually uh, once you get into the next screen it'll it'll prompt you uh, whether or not you want to use the save crystal even though you had technically used the the save crystal in the screen before and yet you uh, you press yes and then you cross back over into the initial screen and it'll ask you again if you want to place the crystal uh, at which point you uh, select no and uh, what that actually will do then is uh, put the crystal kind of uh, on the edge of the zone line and um, it'll actually keep it in your inventory as well so it's kind of useful in the fact that um, you know you get to keep it and actually use it uh, use that save crystal again later if you want um, you know as well as I guess kind of put a you can I don't know if you want to call it a temporary save point down here um, I believe if you use that save crystal though again uh, the the one the temporary one we'll call it will disappear that's that's my uh, that's my understanding um, I didn't actually uh, reuse my save point now here there's actually a way up here and um, I'm just not standing in the right spot so hopefully I'll hopefully I'll return to this spot but uh, this is not a one way which I think I was just a little confused here I, I didn't realize I could get up there uh, but you actually can there's a way to crawl up so hopefully I'll return to this spot but here's where I'm talking about gently if you know what you want to do or to activate the bug is you stand directly above the treasure chest uh, up on that uh, the other level I guess we'll call it and then again you, you have to unfortunately you have to time it out just right and you have to be standing in the exact uh, correct spot the problem is if you don't do it just right you'll open up the treasure chest without jumping so what normally happens is you end up uh, opening up the treasure chest up top and, uh, and your character doesn't jump down and so at that point you have to you're forced to uh, to close out the dialogue box and um, anyways you know what that's that's enough about uh, about the save uh, save crystal glitch I'll be honest I'll be completely honest I don't even feel like it's worth the time um, it's actually pretty frustrating trying to get it to work and um, and if you don't get it to work you have to restart your game um, which means you lose all the progress that you made on the way down here. So what I actually did was I came through, obtained all the treasures, um, got what I wanted, uh, and didn't open up that treasure chest. I, I think that was an X, was it an X potion in there or something like that? Or maybe an elixir? I actually didn't catch uh, uh, what that was. But anyways, um, so what I did was I, uh, I grabbed everything, I, I went all the way back out and saved, and then came back down. Um, a second time and at that point I monkeyed around and tried getting the, the glitch to work now it probably took me man I don't know at least five tries so frankly that's a lot of trips down here now it gets a little bit easier if you've got the enemy away materia um, just so that you're not running into uh, you know random battles constantly but uh, unfortunately it does get a little frustrating so so that's my two cents I guess um, here, if you notice, I I'm stuck here, and, um, well, not stuck. Uh, the way to continue is actually to keep going uh, down down here, so that's that's what we'll do. Um, and, but again, uh, unfortunately here, I, I messed up and didn't realize that I could go uh, up farther. And so I think I kind of messed up some of these treasures, and I possibly could have duplicated more items. Um, but uh, I'm not sure on that. I guess... I guess it worked out okay. There's the Imperial Guard from Sid. Uh, Bear, I think Bear just has garbage. Yeah, vaccine. Uh, red, what does he have here? Speed source? Eh, that's kind of garbage too. Ketchy went with me, so it didn't uh, matter. There's a second Mega All. And Yuffie here should have... I forget what she's supposed to have. Well, let's check it. Counter material. Okay, so that's the... I think that's magic counter, essentially. 
Um, red, it said that red was supposed to get a shield materia. So I'm not sure what happened there. Um, I, I don't know. Maybe I went, I went, uh, or did something a little bit wrong, but, uh, yeah, not sure on that. But, uh, anyways, all right. So at this point, um, I think if you head down, uh, if you continue on to, to the bottom part of the screen, I think that's the point of no return, if I remember correctly. And you will not be able to get back out. So, um, the good thing is, though, from that point on, there isn't any chess uh, and no, no treasures. So, um, this is a good point to retu return, uh, which is exactly what I'm going to do. So, um, uh, yeah, so that being said, we'll, we'll head back up. Now, uh, again, I'm not 100% sure if I would have uh, ran up a little bit farther and... Uh, you know, grab to more of the chest. I actually, I don't know if that would have changed anything at all. I feel like those treasures that I got just now uh, were were uh, were were sufficient, and uh, I, you know, I don't know that I really would have needed to to duplicate those. Uh, my impression, though, um, let me see if I can uh, get this straight here. Um, okay, so uh, it says here if you if you do uh, you can actually get yourself two copy copies of some of the items um, Picking up them or by picking them up once and then getting them from your party members uh, But if you get them from your party members first, it says the items will actually disappear from the maps uh, I'm not sure if that's actually true or not. Uh, I think I Think um, I guess we'll see here and maybe that actually is true. Uh, maybe so uh, my impression here is what you're supposed to do is, you know, send your members on whatever routes they're supposed to go uh, down. And then actually, uh, before you talk to them uh, in that, that screen down there, you want to run around and grab all the treasures. And then at that point, you should go talk to your uh, characters. And they should give you basically second copies of, you know, whatever those items are. Now, again, um, my opinion, most of the stuff isn't worth duplicating, so... It's not even really worth, uh, I, I guess, worrying about. Uh, the only thing I would say maybe you could make, make an argument for would be that, uh, that Imperial Guard that I got from Sid. Uh, and then maybe, again, maybe the missile from Tifa if you, you, know, if you don't go the same route uh, as Tifa. But um, <clears throat> the, only, the only other way I think you can kind of get around that. So the problem is Sid goes the left route and Tifa takes the right uh, route and um, the problem is is if you don't have enough members and you send uh, you know cloud down one of those routes they'll just run with him and so I think what you need to do is send you know so many people down one side that uh, uh, I, I would say send four so like uh, for instance if you if you send Sid left I would send cloud Tifa Ketchy and Barrett down the right path and then, at that point, when it asks you who you want to have in your actual uh, party, make sure Tifa is not in your party. Uh, and at that point, you know, uh, she should pick up the missile. And then, uh, once you actually meet up down below, uh, you know, after you run around and grab all the items, uh, she should give you, uh, uh, you know, essentially a copy of that missile. Now, um, the thing is, though, with the missile is... Uh, <laughs> I already duplicated 99 of them way back in the uh, the Shinra. Uh, what was that like? The kind of like the subway tunnels where you fight the Turks. And so, uh, oh no, I'm sorry. I'm thinking of the Minerva Band. So maybe let me see if I can find the missile now. Yeah, I think I'm. Uh, I think I'm thinking of the uh, Minerva Band. So my bad if that's the case. I guess we'll uh, let's check here. Um, do 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 do. I gotta find this thing again. So here we go. Find Midgar section eight in the final dungeon. Yeah. Okay. Wow. So, um, and either males or females can use it. You know, though, I don't know. This thing isn't that great, to be honest. I don't know. If you want more of them, I guess so. You, uh, so it says find in Midgar section eight. Okay. So that would be the first one. Uh, the final dungeon, then you know, again, you'd have to you'd have to do what I uh, mentioned earlier. There, have Tifa go the right uh, down the right path, um, and then you know, if you decide to go or if you send Cloud down the right path as well, you need to have two others go along with both of them, 
again, that's my um, that's my take on that. I'm not sure if uh, that actually works or not. I've never actually tried it because, uh, I guess, I, <laughs> frankly, I just didn't care enough to. I didn't find missiles that useful to to really worry about. Now, uh, that being said, though, you know, if you don't want to, or if that, if you don't care about that, and uh, you want to duplicate your items in other ways, you can always use the uh, enemy, the enemy stealing from the party method. Uh, I've already been over that. If you want to know more about that method, I would suggest uh, checking my guide on that. Uh, it's a, I, I would say, an <laughs> annoying way to duplicate your items, but unfortunately for a lot of items, that's the only way. So, um, <clears throat> you know, for things uh, things like missiles, uh, Warrior Bangle, um, or war is it Warrior Band or Warrior Bangle? I can't remember. Um, Imperial Guard, same thing. You know, if you want to get a ton of them, you have to use that method. So, um, again, unfortunately, it's time-consuming. And to be honest, I gotta be, I, I gotta be completely honest. It's not worth it. I, I like the uh, the Wizard Bangle or Wizard Band. Again, now I don't remember <laughs> the specific one. Anyways, it's the eight slot. Um, all of the all of them are connected, and uh, I just I love those. Um, unfortunately, you know, don't, you don't get any cool like. Um, fire absorption out of them but I just don't feel like it's uh, it's needed the game is you know so easy that you don't even need the the elemental absorption from your armor and whatnot so uh, anyways all right let's continue on here where ooh, folk here was born very nice uh, we're in uh, the area where I actually like to do my AP farming uh, it's either this screen or the previous one uh, and you'll actually notice here eventually, and it might be the very end of the guide here, but I end up getting into a battle with uh, the um, t -t 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 movers. And uh, the movers are the best, or the most uh, AP that you can get from a random battle in this area. Um, and they're extremely easy to beat. So a uh, very, very good way to level up your materia, and I highly recommend this area uh, to, to do that in. Now, um, I'll be completely honest too, I really feel like this area right here is the best place to put your save crystal down. Uh, reason being is, it's just, this is probably, I, I would say, where I spent 99% of my time in this dungeon. So, um, yeah, you could put it down a little bit farther and kind of have a, a, a save point that's uh, really close to the final stretch to the, to the boss, but... I just don't feel like it's uh, it's all that useful, and uh, I just you know honestly I, I feel like it's better here. Now I never put it here. I never I never put it down in in either of these two screens, uh, but that's because I use that uh, that funky glitch that I, I mentioned earlier with the save point. So, um, but to be honest, that other save point is not as convenient. Uh, and and I found what I what I did a lot here was just uh, spend a lot of time you know getting my AP. Uh, in this screen and and uh, in the previous screen to this, and uh, I, I spent actually a lot of time uh, or a, a few days here, like uh, I mean real life, you know, days where I would uh, you know play for an hour or two and then I'd go run away and save, and then come back to the spot like you know the next day. Um, but unfortunately, that that just means a little bit of extra run time in between this spot and that uh, that kind of glitched uh, save save point that you can put down here. Um, is it that big of a deal? I don't know. It's a, you, I guess that's pretty, uh, or you can argue that, but, um, I, I don't know. I guess it's just the way I did it, so. Uh, wow, all right, so it looks like I'm, I'm preparing to steal from these guys. That seems, we're trying to duplicate some items. I don't know if that's how it all turned out, but. So we'll see. <clears throat> All right, so let's use an elixir. No, I'm not going to duplicate. I'm just going to get my first thoughts back. Okay. Uh, but anyways, that's that's the start essentially to the uh, the uh, enemies stealing from you or from the party method. I guess it's. I don't know if there's a a, a term for that uh, style of item duplication, but uh, that's uh, that's kind of how it goes down. You know, you just have the enemy steal from you. And then uh, essentially try to, you know, you kill the enemy off and then duplicate uh, that way. So, um, all right, so what do we got here? Wow, I got all kinds of. Uh... So here's. Oh, <laughs> here is a really dangerous point in the game. If you notice here, my materia screen is completely maxed out. Now, I got lucky and caught it, but um, th this is the problem with having so much materia is now, if, if any of my materia levels. 
the the new uh, material that doesn't have any AP on it would be completely lost. So, um, you know, especially when you're down here, you have to keep an eye on your materia. And, uh, you know, if your list gets too full, uh, you could be in trouble. So, um, <clears throat> this is going to be my last battle. I'm going to, I just wanted to show you guys. This is the, oh, no, this is not it. My bad. I thought that there was another battle with movers here. So maybe, maybe I was wrong on that. But uh, anyways, I'm running out of time on this one. So um, I'm going to cut it uh, right here. And um, as always, I hope this guide was helpful. And I uh, hope you join me for more videos. Thanks for watching.